So how do you set up alerts in the Thinkorswim platform? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up basic and advanced alerts using the Thinkorswim platform. Hey, how's it going? On this channel, you will learn the steps it takes to make a full-time income trading in the stock market. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And today, we're talking about alerts in the Thinkorswim platform. So initially to create a basic alert, I generally like doing it on the chart because that is the most visual and really easiest way to do it. There are other ways to do it, but first we're gonna do it on the chart. So all you wanna do is just right click where you want that alert to be. So if I wanna see if the stock goes above, let's say this price right here, 2538, I'm gonna right click and then go create alert and then do single and then it's gonna pretty much automatically set it up for me. But just to make sure it's the right symbol, mark, and then so it's basically saying here, is the price at or above that price I selected? Now you can go in here and change this price if you want, and you can also change if you want to be below or just below or above. So, and then you can add a note in here if you want to, and then down here is where you're gonna actually set up how you want it to notify you. So you can have it do a ton of different notifications. You can do text messages and you can do emails and then also the in-platform sound system. And so there's a lot of different settings down here. And then this is also just for when you wanna actually submit it. Usually you generally just wanna create the alert right away. But if you do wanna customize it more to have the alert be initiated at a certain time just because some strategy you're doing this is where you're going to do that and then all we have to do is click create and you can see that show up on the chart so that's also super nice thing about this is it'll show up on the chart here and then really easy way to adjust it like everything in the platform generally i can just click and drag and then just replace now i can also just exit this to close it if I don't want the alert anymore. So that's how to set up a super basic alert. Another one you can actually do is you can set alerts with drawings. So let's just do a basic line. So if I think that, you know, maybe this is some kind of resistance level right here uh, between these two highs, I can create that line and then see when the stock breaks it. And then right click on the drawing and then I can do create alert with drawn. You don't wanna do create alert because that'll just do the basic one. You wanna create alert with drawing and that'll just bring up this. It'll look a little different, but you can just do with trend line and then you can do when it crosses below above or just crosses and then everything else is the same. And then we can just create that and you can see that the alert is there and then you can adjust this. Now, a nice thing about this is it'll go with the line forever so you don't have to draw this line as the stock keeps going down if it never breaks that line this alert will go all the way for you so you don't have to keep updating that line if the stock were to keep going down here so if the stock was all the way down here you can see that my line is only up here but the alert goes all the way down you can see it just keeps going down for you so that's another nice thing that the platform does for you now you can do this with channels as well, but it won't be something like breaks out of channel. So we can create alert with drawing and it will be with just that top line. So we can create that, that crosses, but we also have to go to this other one as well and then crosses as well. So this one crossed below and I think this one actually might've been crossed below as well. So we can actually go in here and do, you can either right click on this and do replace alert and then that's how we can edit it. So I can go in here and do cross above and that will make it so now I have this alert channel. So whenever the stock goes out either side of the channel, I will get an alert sent to me on my phone or on the platform. You can set these alerts up with basic lines and Fibonacci as well. It will always just be create alert with drawing to do that. So if you wanna do something more complex like crossing a moving average, we can set that up with this moving average we have right here. So this is a eight period moving average and we can just right click on this and then 
we're actually just gonna go create alert. So you don't actually have to click on the moving average. You can click anywhere to create this alert because you have to go into the settings a bit more and set this up. So again, we're gonna wanna make sure that this is the right symbol. And then when you click price, you actually wanna go to study. So I already have these set up, but we will make one from scratch. So if you have nothing there, just go to edit and it'll bring up this window. Now I'm gonna delete this. And so this is what it should be like with nothing there. And then you want it to go add condition. And then it will bring up this window and your condition is gonna be your study. So you can see here, you can do a ton of different things for these alerts. So you can get very complex with what you're doing. Now, all we're gonna do here is we wanna select study because we're doing a study. And then as you can see here, you can do every type of study. Now we're just gonna do an exponential moving average. So I'm gonna get that. And then most of the settings will be already right for us. Now it'll default to nine. So you wanna change it to whatever exponential or moving average you're trying to do. So we're just gonna change this to eight. And then this is all preset perfectly for us. We don't have to change anything here. And then you can see here, you have a lot of different options. Now, what we wanna do here is just know when it crosses the moving average. So we're just gonna click crosses and then we're gonna select condition. Now, again, you get all these different options. And what we wanna do is just the price because we're looking at the price of the stock or the whatever market we're looking at. We wanna know when the price of the market crosses the moving average. So you have a ton of different options on what kind of price you're gonna do. I'm just gonna do close because it's kinda of nice to know when a stock actually closes above a moving average or closes below. And so this offset, we're not gonna to need to change. And then right here for symbol, you wanna delete this and do in quotations, whatever stock you're doing. So for this one, we are doing the ES. And so for your futures, you need to do a backslash, but for a regular stock, you're just gonna to have to do quotations. It's a little funky with selection um, and then just the stock symbol, so Apple. You really wanna make sure you do the quotations. If you don't do the quotations, the script won't work and it'll bug out for you. So make sure you do these quotations. No, so we're just gonna go back to the actual symbol we're on and then period, you can just go select from this drop down menu. Sadly, you can't do tick charts or custom timeframes, but these will definitely help. So we're on a one minute chart right now and then price type, we're just gonna do the mark. And then within one bars, we just wanna leave this at one because that's gonna be checking the most recent bars. So we wanna know if it crossed over the moving average in the most recent bar. And that's what you're gonna to wanna to leave it at. So you have it actively looking for when it crosses over. Not if it crossed over 15 minutes ago, you wanna know exactly when it crosses over. So this will be all the settings we have. We just wanna click save and then that'll save that for us. And then you should have if you had any issues like forgetting the quotations mark, there will be a section of this code highlighted in red. And so just make sure that you go back and really make sure all those settings are right. And then another thing we wanna do is make sure come up here and change this to minute or whatever period you're using. So I'm using a minute and then I'm gonna change that to minute. So I'm not sure if that messes it up or not, but just to keep everything similar, just make sure you have that sim the same. Now, if you're having any problems, a quick way to go back into that those settings, just click inspector, and that'll bring up this window here where you can change some of those settings if you have problems. And then all you're gonna do is just click okay. And then this study should have automatically saved in your study. So if we see here, it says that this is the one I have selected and it will come down here eventually, so you don't have to remake it every time. All I have to do now is click Create, and that alert will be there. Now, this one won't come up on the chart because it's not really correlated with an actual price, but we can go in here and go to Market Watch, and you can see right here the alert is active. Now, a quick note for when you actually use it again, when you go in here and do Create Alert, and then go back and find that previous one you made. So here's the one we actually made just now. Click on that and you wanna make sure that the actual condition for it is true. So it'll have at or above, you wanna make sure that it's true. 
if you have one of those other settings, it won't actually work. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I hope this information was really helpful in creating your either basic or custom alerts. If you wanna learn more about the Thinkorswim platform or just trading in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below.